What's up everybody, Adam here with the trailer Today we have a 2020 Subaru Ascent. We're gonna be test fitting the Kuat Sherpa. So if you're really looking for a bike rack that really has all the features you would want, but looks really good, the Sherpa is my favorite looking rack just because one, it's nice and sleek, has a nice powder coated finish, but it comes in different colors. So right here is the gunmetal gray. We are gonna have a black and then we're also gonna have a pearl. So you can match it up with the car. I think the pearl would really, really look great with the blue on our Subaru Ascent, but that's all up to you and your taste. So main thing right off the bat, we can tilt this rack with the bike installed. So all we gotta do is just grab this lever here, pull it back and fold it out. And then we can go ahead and open up our rear hatch. And we have plenty of room. So that's always awesome if you don't feel like taking your bikes off or you're more of a sporadic rider. You know, maybe you're just driving home from work, you're like, might as well just go riding. You can keep all this on there and you won't lose functionality of the back whenever you're getting groceries or just even just grabbing your helmet or your shoes for the bike ride, you're good to go. I really like that. That is a feature I think is a necessity for me, but if it's not really a necessity for you, you still get it anyway. So all you gotta do is just lift it up and it is gonna snap into place. And we don't really have a whole lot of wiggle. So that's always great. Not a whole lot of play so your bikes aren't gonna feel it whenever you're going down the road and you're not gonna hear it. In regards to the bikes that you're gonna be able to use with, we wanna make sure that the tire width isn't gonna be any wider than three inches. We're gonna have 40 pounds per bike. So fat tire bikes, probably not. And the electric bikes, it's probably gonna be a little too heavy, even if you take the battery off. So it's definitely not for this rack, but for your carbon fiber bikes, it's great because we do have a wheel hook. This is going to be compatible with wheel diameters of 25 inches all the way up to 29 inches. But if you do have a kiddo's bike, you're probably gonna max this thing out. There is an adapter that you can get. It's gonna go right here, and that's going to accommodate for the smaller diameter wheels from 20 inches all the way up to 24. So it's gonna work for the kiddos bikes, it's gonna work for your bikes, and it's gonna protect that frame if you do have a carbon fiber bike. So let's go ahead and take the bike off the rack. I always start with this just because it doesn't hold the bike upright, it just helps with that vertical movement. So you press this in, and you can notice that this little bracket here is going to pivot so that is going to allow us to get wheel bases up to 47 inches. So that pretty much covers the majority of bikes. I see some that are 50 inch bikes, but not a lot of the times. So now with this, we wanna make sure we put our hands on the bike because it will fall if we don't. And there is a big lever here. So if you are riding in the winter, you have gloves, or if the kiddos wanted to load up their own bike, it's not that difficult to press this in, go up and fold out. And then we can take the bike off the rack and set it to the side. You can get a better look at the rack with the bike off and it just looks really good. I just really like the looks of this. And whenever I'm not using all these straps, I always just put them back. And with this, we're gonna fold that down, go like this, and we're good to go. One thing before I fold it up against the vehicle, up top we are gonna have a little space for our cable lock. So the bike rack is gonna lock to our hitch, but we're also gonna have a cable lock to lock our bikes. So that's gonna give you a little bit more peace of mind so it doesn't run off wherever you may be. So let's go ahead and take some measurements. Whenever we put something in the hitch, obviously we're gonna add a little bit of length to the back of the vehicle. So from the bumper of our ascent, to the furthest most point. It's gonna be about 32 and a half inches, which isn't a whole lot. And we have a decent rise in our shank. So if you are planning on maybe going to some off-road trails in the mountains or wherever, we're gonna have about 29 inches of ground clearance and the farthest most point. So you really don't have to worry about bottoming out, even though the ascent is a little bit taller, but not that tall. That's a decent amount of ground clearance. I don't think we'll have any issues. So now we're gonna take the same lever that I used for the tilt away feature, and we're gonna fold this back just like that and fold it up. 
Snaps into place, not a whole lot of play. And that's going to break down our length from to about 15 and a half inches. So that's not a whole lot. And the closest most point is about seven and a quarter inches, which isn't a really short amount. So I don't think we're gonna have any issues at all. And one thing to think about is the backup camera. It is right here. So we're gonna have a decent amount of blockage whenever we're backing up. If you really, really want to have the most visibility whenever you're backing up with a bike rack, Kuat makes a transfer. That one is gonna leave a little bit more room, but it doesn't look as good as this. So that's basically it. We have a two inch shank on it. So just make sure you have a two inch hitch receiver to be able to use this. But if you do have a quarter, inch and a quarter hitch receiver, we do have a version that'll fit that. And it does come with a lock, which will be key to like with our cable lock. So you don't have to have multiple, multiple different keys. And the nice thing about it is we don't need a tool to get the anti-rattle system to engage. All you need is your hands. So as I start to loosen this up, you'll start to see what a bike rack would be like without the anti-rattle, but just by twisting it righty tidy. That's all it takes. And it is completely solid and a part of our ascent. So we're not gonna hear it the equipment's not gonna feel it, and your bikes are gonna be a lot happier that way. All in all, definitely like the rack. I like that it has different color options, but it also just looks really, really good. I see these on a lot of higher end vehicles, and it seems to be a pretty desirable product. So if you're looking for something that's really primo, you should definitely go ahead and grab the Kuat Sherpa. So that's basically it for the test fit of the Kuat Sherpa on our 2020 Subaru Ascent. But if you stick around, we're gonna go and bring it through the test course to see how it performs. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or any even pavement. And last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway.